Kruskal's algorithm for minimum spanning tree. First, let us recap what a minimum spanning tree is. Given a graph, the minimum spanning tree of that graph is a subgraph such that all the vertices of the graph exist in the subgraph. Subgraph should be connected and there should be no cycles in the subgraph. Why do we call it minimum spanning tree? Because the edges that we include, the sum of the weights of those edges should be minimum. So with this in mind, let's take a look at Kruskal's algorithm using an example. So this is going to be the graph that I want to construct the minimum spanning tree for. So what we are going to do in Kruskal's algorithm is we are going to keep including the minimum edges as long as no cycles are formed. Once we cover all the vertices, we stop. So let's start. Since we are going to keep including edges and we know that the subgraph is going to finally contain all the vertices, let's first draw all the vertices. So our subgraph is going to have or the, our minimum spanning tree is finally going to include all the vertices. Now let's start including the edges. What are the minimum edges in this set? We have a minimum edge 1 here and a minimum edge 1 here. So first let me include this. Now the minimum edge is this, so I will include that. Now in this set what is the minimum edge? We have a 2 here and a 2 here. So first I'll include this then I'll include this. Then I have an edge of 3 which is the next minimum edge. Now can I include this edge 3? No, I cannot include 3. Why can I not include 3? Because when I include 3 I will be forming a cycle between B, D and E. So since it forms a cycle I cannot include 3. Now I go to 4. I have two 4's here. Can I include this 4? No, I cannot include that 4 because that would create a cycle between D, B and A. Can I include this 4? Yes, because that does not form a cycle. Now I go to 5. Can I include this 5? No, because that forms a cycle. What is the next largest? We have 6. Or the next smallest? We have 6. Yes, we can include 6. So now we have connected all the vertices in our minimum spanning tree. Now we can stop. So what is the weight for this minimum spanning tree? We have 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. We will get the weight as 16. So this is how you perform Kruskal algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree given a particular graph. We keep including the next minimum edge as long as that edge does not form a cycle in our spanning tree.